Hello guys, I'm gonna show you how to perform a date tonight conversion. I don't have a footage to do it but I can do it with a with a picture. So this is our first step. We're gonna get the picture we're gonna use. Now we're gonna apply some effects layer color correction brightness and contrast I'm gonna play with it brightness down contrast down until we get this effect right here okay um, duplicate it no I'm gonna erase it okay next thing to do is create a new solid no effects color correction levels individual levels now we're gonna play with the red channel we're gonna put all the red channel down on the input black okay red channel down until we get this uh, blue blue effect this dark blue effect okay nice uh, now we're gonna play again with the brightness and contrast until we get the effect we want play with the red input on black on white until we get it okay close enough it's close enough just a little bit right here adjust the contrast and the brightness again so we get the the effect we want okay next thing color correction hue and saturation you're gonna play with the master likeness I think we're done uh, okay now we're gonna do the uh, the most important I'm still playing with the brightness I don't like the way it is so I'm gonna make it close to reality okay uh, the next steps uh, we're gonna do is uh, add some lights and the spotlights okay effect new solid gray solid uh, we're gonna look for CC spotlight spotlight CC spotlight okay we're gonna drag drag it into our solid to render light only okay so we're gonna have the spotlight only not the the solid color okay 
Nice. We're gonna play with it. So to make it look more uh, uh, realistic to fit on our comp. Okay. Now we play with the height, cone angle. close 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 okay now with the blending mode this is more, gonna make it more even more realistic we're gonna make it a uh, classic color dodge classic color dodge okay so it already looks like a real uh, spotlight, you know, the floor. Play with the intensity, edge, softness, height, cone, angle. Um, you can keep the color like this. It's okay. Okay, we we're gonna need two of this. Okay. Now we're gonna play with the first. This is gonna be our our plate our plate uh, put it on a on a place where it's gonna be more more believable it's a little close to be a light but it's fair okay we're gonna need two of this now we're gonna duplicate control D to duplicate it hit control D at the same time and then drag it to the other position <coughs> now we're gonna play with the with the first one again with the first so they don't look so so equal we're gonna change this size a little bit. Hit S, scale it, scale it up a little bit. Change position. Nice, okay. Nice. Now the next thing. Create new solid. black solid on this black solid we're gonna apply uh, one effect for our lights okay we're gonna apply the lens flare lens flare okay my my keyboard is not working so I'm using this way making this way okay backspace lens flare drag it into the solid make it 105 millimeter prime now we're gonna play with it until we get the the light we want okay Okay, right click, blending mode, add to make the solid disappear just to, to leave the light. Okay, let's cut it up a little bit. Uh, flare brightness. We're going to put it down a bit. put it on a place okay next thing we're gonna do is the same thing we did with the spotlight 
we're gonna need for the uh, for the other light so we're gonna duplicate it control D and then drag it drag it to the other light so you see both uh, reflections coming in the same line so we're gonna rotate it a little bit on the light on, on that layer you're gonna hit R and then you're gonna play with the rotation okay so I'm gonna make it look a little random not so neat okay okay I think we're done I think we're done nice uh, okay uh, this is all people this is the real the real picture and the modified I think is pretty fair close enough to to real to to the real so hope to see you next video